morning, Sam Matthew. Today is our second interview with members of our Sam Matthews community who are on the frontline job, helping to fight this emergency that is affecting our community. So today we welcome this Maria Lourdes. It's a very beautiful name and it sounds very Spanish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so welcome and we are really happy to have you today with us. Good morning. And we have a couple of questions. Uh, so let's uh, start it. Our first question to you is tell us what your job is and what you usually enjoy about it. Okay. Um, first, first of all, good morning, St. Matthews. Um, thank you very much for this opportunity. And um, I do miss everybody. Sorry, in between the interview, I might get emotional. It's just because I miss you guys. So, um, okay, going back to the question. <laughs> I really started and I'm crying. <laughs> um, so, uh, my job, I work in healing in hospital intensive care um, it's a critical care service um, where we looked after um, COVID patients the sickest patients affected by this um, virus um, Hillingdon Hospital um, we have there we look after 17 patients in intensive care and we have a medical HD where we look after about eight patients so the question you asked me, Vicky, is that what I enjoy about my is it job? What? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. What do I enjoy about my job? Um, I say, I mean, it, what a privilege, what an opportunity to be part of every patient's lives, um, uh, their journey, you know, they're the sickest at the moment. Um, to be part of it, I think it's it's for me a blessing, and um, and not just for patients and also for their families to be involved and be their connecting um, person between their loved ones that's trying to get better and fight this in, um, virus, and also me helping them to connect i to think connect. that's what i love about my job and obviously wow. the whole thing about critical care even before okay. the, yeah the situation mm. oh wow that's, that's amazing isn't it yeah. so how has life at work and home changing for you over the last a few weeks um well, it's a massive change. I'm not living at home. <laughs> I am, it's been six weeks now, going through seven wow. weeks. Um, I'm staying in this small room. Um, the reason for that is I can't be with um, Cheryl and David because of my um, direct care, the connect, um, contact with patients who are positive who are positive COVID and my viral load is very high. So I have, the, the risk is there that I would be able, I'm carrying the virus and it would not be fair if I'm the ones going to infect my, my family. So it's changed dramatically the family setup. Um, I do see them on the FaceTime. Thank you for the technology and um, occasional dropping off shopping. Um, I saw them, Cheryl and uh, David, coloring their hair. They're now blonde. <laughs> so it's like they, it, I miss them terribly. So yeah, it's a, a big change. Yeah. Oh, wow. Making, wow. They're making sense. I, I, miss, I miss David so much, you know. He's a very handsome boy. <laughs> he is. Thank you very much. And, and then you say that it has been difficult at home. Say, what has been difficult for you as a professional, as a mom, as a couple? I think as a, as a mom, uh, I miss David bossing me around. <laughs> <laughs> no one is telling me to do things for him, you know? 
So I miss that, and I miss the um, him telling me off. You know, um, yeah. actually, I might be the manager of intensive care, but I am an, actually a housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> David is my manager. Yeah. Um, as a mom, that's what I miss. I miss the cuddles. I miss the the kisses. You know, the physical contact. The yeah. um, because I can't even touch them. Um, with Cheryl, I think what I miss the most about uh, my relationship is that coming home, you have someone to talk to about your struggles. You know, about your about the happy happy things that happening at work. Um, yes, you can share it on videos and that, but it's different when you're actually sitting down over a cup of tea or coffee. Yeah, that's cool. um, uh, Work-wise, oh my gosh, I took this role as a unit manager on the 1st of December. I never thought that this would be a pandemic. First, I to lead the critical care service in the in this pandemic the most difficult time that is unprecedented we really if i have known probably i would think twice applying for this job <laughs> yeah, taking the job. <laughs> but um i would i probably would think maybe maybe pause for now and wait for a couple of years but um they said what doesn't kill you will make you stronger isn't it so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um I was just thrown there and I swim and hopefully I'm swimming and I'm floating and I'm doing the best to support okay. my team. Okay, good. Okay, are there any part of the last few weeks that you have enjoyed? There are lots of things that I've enjoyed in the last few weeks. Um, one, I think one, one that I would like to share is that we do have loads of patients that get better <laughs> so, <laughs> there are patients that do go home so for what it's worth what you see on telly is um or in the news it's not entirely negative mm -hmm. um today we have one of our longest patients the uh, first patients that we admitted who fought for his life um from being super sick on the breathing machine um, having a trackie, um, he is now ready to leave critical care. And that to oh, me, man. to the family, to the wife yesterday, because um, I'm off today and I, if it's going to happen today, I thought I'll take this opportunity to thank the family for, for supporting us, for having the, the, faith, the faith that he will get better. Um, <laughs> We, we, and that, that to me is amazing. And I wish I would, I'm, I'm actually waiting for a phone call because I want to, I want to clap him as he leaves. <laughs> as he leaves, yes, yeah. yes. So that's, that's good. That's yeah. one of my highlights. And um, second one is my staff. I have an amazing um, team of critical care nurses, um, theater nurses, re uh, registered nurses, allied health, healthcare assistants, um, ward clerks, domestics, porters. Um, I can mention all of them. I may not be able to mention all the profession, but we are collectively, we are a multidisciplinary team. And my consultants, microbiologists, dietitians, if I forget who's part of my team, pharmacists, <laughs> they are absolutely amazing yes. and we i think we were close before but now we are together we are we're all we're family but we're even closer and um that to me is my highlight to to see them get through this most difficult time um and engage with with us we were you know we were a team we're a team okay. so that, that, that's amazing. Oh, that's good. So uh, tell us, what does the clap for CARES mean to you and your staff at the hospital? Um, I th what I have heard and I've also experienced um, t 
to be given that recognition and for people to come out and um, um, recognize our efforts in the NHS of front, frontliners. Um, it's to me, I'm very grateful. First of all, I get really emotional if I hear it. When chess, you know, in chess, because I, most of the claps, I'm actually at work. Oh. <laughs> so I don't get to see that. <laughs> but she would record it and she, or she would tell me how um, people are supporting and, and it's overwhelming. I'm so overjoyed with the support. Thank mm -hmm. you. And for my team as well, it's a recognition um, that we appreciate. And hopefully, uh, this is the time we're in. Um, people would look at NHS as uh, value us, uh, value the service. I, I must say, coming from a country in the Philippines, I am very proud of this country to deliver that we deliver a healthcare service that's that doesn't look at what race, what color, what status you are in the community. We will care you as people, and mm. that is to me. NHS. Oh, that is amazing. So we are going to end in our, our interview and I want to ask you, what can we pray for? Giving us a something to pray for you and your team. Um, I think it would be strength. Um, this COVID, this COVID, is not gonna go anywhere. This is going to be a long-term um, fight. Mm -hmm. um, we call ourselves COVID, COVID warriors actually at work. <laughs> um, so it's, it's not gonna stop next month in the near few six months and that it will be years. And um, I just want you guys to pray for my team for strength, mm -hmm. health, and emotionally um, and psychologically healthy sound because that is what we actually going to need. Um, for myself is that I be, pray for me as a leader that I would be able to make the right choices that would be good, not just for patient, but for my for the team that I have and that I'm very proud of, um, that we will get through this um, until we find the, 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 the cure to COVID. The cure for that. Okay. That's, I, I want to tell you, Lourdes, Maria Lourdes, that I am very proud uh, to hear you and we always have been supporting you. And I, I, we, I want you to know that the Samatic community are behind you. We are praying for you. We cover you and your team. You may ask, feel very proud that you are part of our community. So when you feel that you need some help, call some of us. We are here for you. And we want to bless you and your family. I don't know if you want to say something more to end in that interview. Yeah. I just want to say that um, for, for everyone who lives in the barrow, you have a, a hospital that you can be truly, truly be proud of. You have a Hillingdon hospital that would, that are doing their best that are, that as an organization to look after you, to care for everybody and to look after your health needs. Um, I must say there's a lot of things going on, questions around PPE. Based on my experience, our organization haven't failed critical care. So I want you to be proud of Hillingdon Hospital, support it in every um, way, their, their plans in the future. Healthcare is going to change. But one thing is for sure, you can be rest assured that Hillingdon will be there for their community. That's oh, thank you. Hope to see you soon and giving you a hug and care. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you.
God bless you. Bye, St. Matthew. Stay safe. I don't want to see any one of you in the hospital, okay? Good. Bye. Bye to you.